Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I know there's a lot of chatter out there about a system that may or may not develop. I want to show you exactly what I'm seeing with this, the European versus the American model, why they are different, and I want to get into the wind shear in the water temperatures, all of that in this video. I want to break that down. The European model, right off the bat, I'm not here to waste your time, does not show a tropical storm forming. It shows rain building. I will show you that. The American model, however, does does have this turn into a tropical storm, this new area that will uh, be in the Western Caribbean by the time we get into the weekend. It has it develop into a tropical storm, but I want to show you some of the differences in what I'm seeing and why it is not exactly correct. Let me show you what we have going on first. This is where we stand right now. You can see in Belize, more rain around watching Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Roatan watching that, Honduras, we have some rain keeping an eye on that. Some more areas of flooding. Uh, thank you for posting the comments, your location, and what you had going on the last couple days. We've been seeing that. How about parts of Trinidad and Tobago yesterday? Parts of Trinidad, we had some heavy rain in locations still anywhere from Barbados, St. Lucia, and really south, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. Lots of action around, and you see some stuff building here. This all here is what is going to be marching off to the west and can potentially develop. Now, let me get to the American model and I'm leading to this. What I'm leading to is a lot of rain building, a big time flood threat again, but not necessarily a tropical storm. So this is the European model right now. Here's Florida, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Here's the rain building. Here's Haiti and the Dominican Republic. This is by the time we get into Wednesday. So later tomorrow, and you see the increased rain even over toward Puerto Rico, US, British Virgin Islands, rain chance goes up. No signs of development. I like to pass along good news. We need some rain filling up the cisterns. Uh, some of us for agricultural purposes need the rain, well, but we do not need a hurricane, of course. Now, as we get down the road, this is by Friday. Uh, seeing some increased rain now shifting to the Western Caribbean near Jamaica, stretching back near Honduras and Nicaragua, down through Costa Rica but no signs of development. Then by the time we get into the weekend, you could see increased rain here. So yes, definitely a buildup of rain. This is the European model showing a lot of rain and by Sunday, a higher flood threat. So we need to pay attention. Please share this information. Clearly a higher flood threat again for Central America. And this is on top of the rain we just had. This is not a good situation. With that said, the European model is not showing development. I want to get into why in just a second. Now, here's the American model. And I want to show you kind of a little trick I, I watch with the American model in a moment. The American model. In the short term, it's it's accurate. So short term, rainstorms, Belize, Honduras today, an increased rain in the eastern uh, Caribbean. So the American model is one of the best models out there. So is the European, but they just kind of have uh, little differences that I monitor, and I've been doing this for a little while. So again, uh, seeing uh, kind of the differences in the computers. As we work our way into midweek, into the weekend, this is what we have on Sunday. Now, I do believe we're going to see rain here. The European model is pretty similar to this. This. It shows again the rain building, but here's one of the keys. The American model keeps kind of delaying this uh, tropical storm. It shows though, by the time we get into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, so that's a while from now, it shows it spinning up into a tropical storm. But yesterday was showing that on Monday. It just kind of keeps moving it down the road. It just kind of keeps pushing it back. And when you see that, that tells me, it's kind of the little trick I use, it doesn't have a good handle on that. What it's telling me is just about a week from now, it just likes to spin things up uh, for not necessarily any good reason. Now, could this develop in a tropical storm? Of course, the water temperatures are so warm. I'll show you those in a second. Uh, but again, it's it's uh, not as accurate because again, it keeps changing the time frame of that tropical storm, which is telling me it does not have a good handle on the situation. Now, another reason why I think the European model is more onto this area is because of the wind shear. This is by the time we get into early on Saturday. Here's this area that may try to develop in the Caribbean. So we have Jamaica right here, Cayman Islands. Here's uh, Panama. Columbia, and it's this area here, but you see here this red shading, that's a lot of wind shear. So yes, we may get a lot of rain here, and I am super concerned about that flood threat. No doubt it will be a life-threatening flood threat for some of us. I'll be fine-tuning that as we get closer, but the wind shear would knock those thunderstorms 
uh, kind of knock the thunderstorm tops off so it can't really get super organized into a named system. It's still possible though. It's kind of a wait and see. It's still, we're looking five, six, seven days down the road. One of the ingredients is definitely conducive for development. That would be the water temperatures. Now, notably, the Gulf of Mexico has cooled off. We're talking 70s, low 80s Fahrenheit, uh, 26, 27 degrees in the Gulf. This time of year, sometimes we get the development down here, and that's because those water temperatures are still near 30 degrees Celsius, 84, 85 Fahrenheit. By the way, a year ago, we were watching a tropical storm over here. Remember, Nicole, that slammed into Florida as a historic hurricane. You can get kind of subtropical systems here and then eventually feeding off of some of the water temperatures. So keeping an eye on everywhere, but down here is the spot to watch still for development, but the wind shear may prevent some of that development. Point being though, either way, uh, we're going to see that higher chance of rain marching right across the uh, Caribbean. Now, if this were to spin up into a name system, the next name on the list is Vince, but there's no guarantee that is going to happen. And to the north of us, there's not a lot of action. And this time of year, I kind of watch for these fronts up here because sometimes they'll spin something up, much like what happened last year with Nicole. But the United States is very quiet. Even Canada, we haven't had a whole lot. We've had fronts moving by. You can see Pacific Northwest, we've got some rain, some snow getting mixed in. A little bit of snow, Maine moving into the Atlantic region of Canada, but nothing huge. And because all the fronts are way up here in southern Canada, in the northern sections of the United States, record heat will be possible. So the U.S. is pretty quiet and these fronts aren't really diving down so much into the Caribbean and into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. It's warmer than average in many parts. Colorado had snow about a week ago. They'll be dealing with near record heat as we go throughout the day. Eastern Pacific, couple blobs out there, but not seeing signs of development. So in the short term, Eastern Caribbean, the rain will build and then we'll watch it move across. So Trinidad and Tobago, thank you for subscribing, sharing this channel. We are gonna have isolated uh, flooding and a couple stronger storms will be possible in Trinidad today. Same thing in Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's not all day stuff, but the rain chance is elevated and it's not a 100% chance. So we're not all gonna get it, but it is more widespread now in the Eastern Caribbean. Barbados included today. St. Lucia, we're up to a 70% chance of the rain and storms. Could see some isolated flooding with that runoff. Dominica, rain chance today, 60%, a 50% chance over the next couple days in Guadeloupe. Martinique, a 60% chance today and a 40% chance for tomorrow. Now, Belize, the rain chance is high today. Watching the flood threat, we already have some rain around, of course, but at least it starts to trend down. Jamaica in between areas, I'm gonna keep an eye on the Eastern Caribbean, what's kind of marching across to see if it does add to our rain chance by the weekend. Cayman Islands monitoring that as well, not a lot now. Bahamas, rain chance about 20%, and that's it. A 40% chance in Aruba, Curacao, same thing. Bonaire, we have scattered showers around, so keep me posted in the comments. Haiti, the rain chance will go up to 40% tomorrow, going up further in the Dominican Republic tomorrow, up to a 60% chance. A 60% chance tomorrow in Puerto Rico, so that rain chance ticks up as that moisture builds in the Caribbean. Same thing in the US and British Virgin Islands, a 40 to 50% chance of rain tomorrow into Thursday. Antigua and Barbuda, about a 40% chance for tomorrow. 30% chance today, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat in a 40% chance tomorrow and Thursday. Rain chance pretty minimal today in Guilla and St. Bart's, a 40% chance tomorrow and Thursday, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. So a slight uptick, and then that moisture will be moving off to the west. Bermuda, we just had a, a front move by, so we're looking a little quieter. Yucatan, scattered showers and storms today, and then that rain chance decreasing. Rain chance 20% today, Turks and Caicos. Cuba also in between systems, and with the fronts in the United States well to the north, that keeps the rain chance minimal. Watching out for some areas of rain in Costa Rica, a 40% chance in northern Venezuela, and a 40% chance of scattered showers and storms in Guyana. We are going to see some of those spotty showers and storms that will be around today. It's not widespread. I know we need to get some rain, uh, but there'll be a few showers around Suriname. We're looking at a 30% chance. So with that said, again, the surge of moisture moving across the Caribbean. I'll watch out for any signs of development. It will develop slowly. 
in essence, the, I mean, the rain chance is going to really build. We're going to see that rain building, and then we'll see if it does spin up into anything. Uh, those water temperatures are still warm, uh, but the uh, wind shear should be significant, which is good to help prevent some development. But either way, that flood threat is going to be high, especially because we just had the flooding. 23 days left in the hurricane season. Thank you for getting the word out about the increased rain in the Caribbean. I appreciate you passing that along. Stay safe and have a good rest of your day.